uh, this is verse 10, uh, 1 Kings 3 and 10. It says, And the speech pleased the Lord that Sodom had asked this thing. And, yet, and the Most High said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thy enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment, Behold, I have done according to thy word. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. You know, so that pleased the Most High. That Solomon, King Solomon didn't ask for what, you know, most carnal people ask for. Man, he, he came to him spiritual. He said, give me the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to judge the people. You know, and that's what brothers in the fold do, man. We judge the people, you know. We tell them where they're going off and what they need to do to receive salvation. You know, and that pleases the Most High that we just want to serve him. Solomon could have asked for anything, but he asked for the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to serve the Most High, you know, and make sure his people, you know, make sure he had the wisdom to judge his people, you know, the Israelites, you know. Uh, this is verse 13. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any oh, so like it so so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. So Solomon received everything, you know, just because he wanted you know, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, the most high gave him everything. Alright? And that's the spirit that brother should be in, man. Because wisdom, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to bring us everything. We're going to get riches in the kingdom. We're going to have everything your heart desires. You're going to get it in the kingdom. Lord willing, you be those men and make it, you know, on the first to get delivered up out of Babylon. You know, we're going to get that. So, you know, don't be too pressed to receive those things, man. You know, uh, if, you, if you're a base, just be a base. You know, once again, don't get bitter, you know, and, and start thinking, uh, you know, uh, the people around you may be, you know, wicked because they have riches. And don't be a bow and think that the, the most high might, you know, I guess you could say love you more because he gave you riches. You know, it's all a test, man. It's all this this whole experience in Babylon is, man. It's a punishment. And for the brothers in the truth, it's a test for us, man. Like the most high wants to see a pure heart. All right. So if you if you seek anything but knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know, you're going about it all wrong. You know, the Most High is going to, you know, put you in poverty, you know, and he's going to sometimes lift you up. But once again, the thing is, man, you, you just got to stay humble, man, no matter what you have. All right. If you get a million dollars, you know what I'm saying? Don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't let that, you know, deter you from the truth, man. All right. So with that, I'm going to say uh, shalom, brothers.